Coming up on SFC News, Pellegrino emerges odds on to be the new manager, the Premier League approach Saints for safe standing and J-Rod edges closer to the exit door. Starting off then with the news that Mauricio Pellegrino has emerged as the odds on favourite to be the next Saints manager. Now this has really been amplified over the past few days with multiple reports coming out of Europe suggesting that he's already been offered the job and our good sources in the UK so that the Saints board have been impressed by Pellegrino and have also offered him the job already. This also follows the news that Frank De Boer has been offered the Crystal Palace vacancy and now you can get him at almost 20 to 1, a long shot for our Saints job. Pellegrino comes with a reputation of giving youngsters a chance, reaching ninth in La Liga last season with Alaves and also reaching a Copa del Rey final. He's also been an assistant under Rafa Benitez at Liverpool and at Inter Milan, so also comes with experience in English football. One thing we do need next season though is an authoritative figure and someone to buy into the long-term vision of the football club and by all accounts Pellegrino can be that man. He also speaks fluent English, so no more possibilities and opportunities in press conferences. So he's already off to a good start, so it's a yes from me. On to our second story now then, and the Premier League have written to a number of clubs, including Saints, about the proposal of safe standing sections. Now I know a lot of you out there already stand in the Northern and in the Itchy North stands at St Mary's, but at the moment, this is only a proposal and by no means this is guaranteed to even go ahead. The Premier League have a lot of vetting and a lot of research to conduct before they even can trial it at Premier League grounds. There's also two big obstacles that the Premier League would have to overcome before they can install anything in any Premier League ground. First one being the change of legislation and amending the existing law without support from the police or the government and this will be extremely difficult. And the second one of course will be the opposition and the hurdle by Merseyside clubs with completely understandable reasons. And the benefit of having these safe standing sections, it increases atmosphere, it increases safety with the high rails and it's already been hugely successful in Germany and of course up at Celtic in Scotland. So let me know if you support safe standing at St Mary's in the comments below. And finally, reports have hotted up about Jay Rodriguez departing the Saints this summer. Longtime admirer Tony Poulis has increased interest for J-Rod and wants to bring him to the Hawthorns. It's been reported for about £12 million. Now he was linked with West Brom last summer and in January, but nothing really materialised. And now that we've got Gabbiadini, Austin and Long in the frame as well, looks like J-Rod's chances at St Mary's are definitely numbered. He made 34 appearances, only nine starts and six goals in all competitions last term. He's been a great servant with a great attitude and if we get back nearly all of the fee that we paid it for him nearly five years ago, then you've got to say that is great business for Saints. That's it then for your latest edition of SFC News. Let me know your thoughts of Pellegrino, of safe standing at St. Mary's, J. Rod's future in the comments below. Leave us your likes, your comments and subscribe for more.